And, um, okay, first I want to explain that it's Thanksgiving, first of all. And here I am again in the hospital, but not for me. Um, I want to explain, with a relapse, you, um, the, the road that I'm taking and my friend Debbie Demers has taken, you, um, get the steroid treatment in the hospital and afterwards I know I talked about um, get, like um, the steroids make you feel like you're on speed like you move non-stop and then there's a period of time where you're really emotional and that happened in my video last week but um, just to give you some recommendations it didn't help that I, I was in a, a soap opera when I was in college, just a campus soap opera, and when I couldn't walk yet, I laid on my couch and watched the soap opera, and so I cried thinking of how much I missed my, my friends, and that was the best part of college, and, and so it's like, this probably isn't a good idea to watch this now, so I turned it off. Then I put in the movie Dream Girls because I love that movie. That's not a good idea either because I love music and um, listening to Jennifer Hudson sing, and I'm telling you, is that the name of it, Ma? Sing that song, Nate. I was sobbing because it's so beautiful. And I cry when all of them sing because they're so talented. So don't do that either because it's stupid. But um, the, before I say what's going on, I want to say this week has been really good physically. Um, my tremors have gone down quite a bit. They're still here, but they have gone down. And I, my nails grew like crazy on the, when I was taking steroids. But I cut them because I couldn't play. I play the piano, and I couldn't play because of my nails. So I cut them, and yesterday I played the best I've played in, in months. So that was a really good thing. So I am making progress, but um, people are constantly telling me, Lauren, you need to get stress out of your life because that makes your MS worse. And it, it's really hard to do, but I have realized that I can only work at a job that that I love that doesn't stress me out so um, having this relapse I, I've been saying was like the best thing that has happened to me because it put everything into perspective like what's really important what is going to make me happy in life and hopefully my fingers crossed I would like to be a public speaker and I'm making these videos to help other people with MS especially my, around my age, so you know that it's, it's scary to go through, but you get through it and you get better. Now, talking about getting stress out of your life. Keep going. Today, what happened? Just talk about what happened. It's not even today. The day I was admitted into the hospital, I found out that my grandma has kids. She had bladder cancer, and she had an operation, right? Anybody who knows me knows my grandma. <laughs> right now, they put her in the ICU because she had surgery and then she had a stroke. So she's in intensive care. We can't see her right now. And so when people say, Lauren, don't think about it. You can't control what happens to your grandma. You have to take the stress out of your life. 
I think that's bullshit because that I am so close to my grandmother. Her name is <laughs> her birth name is Viola Victoria. No, no, Violet Viola Victoria Vespri. <laughs> 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 What? Born on Christmas Eve, and they yeah, she. Oh yeah, <laughs> she was born on Christmas Eve in 1925, and you know, my I keep talking about my big Italian family, so you know that they were all drinking, and I think they were all wasted, and their last name being Vesperini, they were yelling out names that start with B, and so they named her all these. And um, she stuck with Vicky, that was her favorite. And my middle name is Victoria. And I'm really close, I'm the closest with her. So, I'm trying to get over my relapse. And I'm back in the hospital for her. But I'm trying to stay really strong. And my mom and I are, we are making Thanksgiving dinner. And I did so, I was, um, I haven't been able to use a knife to cut, you know, like I, I, I love apples and I normally I just, I cut my own apples. Well, I haven't been able to do that because my hands are so shaky. But today we were making a, um, a cranberry, what is it called? A relish. Cranberry, cranberry relish. relish. So I was, um, like, cutting um, little, into lo little small pieces, cranberry and orange, and mixing it together, and I helped to base a turkey, and um, so I, I've been able to cook again, like, before, I mean, yeah, I could, I could make myself a sandwich or something like that, but now I can actually help my mom prepare a meal. So our Thanksgiving dinner is at home and um, the turkey, Joel and I took the turkey out of the oven right before we came to the hospital. But um, I know it's, people try to say, and when they say that they're trying to be helpful, you know, like get the stress out of your life, just try to move on and they say take breathing exercises and, you know, take a bath and read a book. It's like, okay, first of all, I can't take a bath because that's ha that's warm water, so that'll ruin my day. I can't read a book because I can't read. My head is shaking and I can't read the words. So for me, it's like, I know what I have to do to take it easy and relax. And what I've been doing is I've been scrapbooking like crazy and with my hands shaking and all I'm doing it and it's really cool it's, I'm scrapbooking my summer in New York but it also has taken my mind off of worrying about my grandma so just when people try to give you advice just take it in listen say thank you I appreciate it you know thank you for for caring about me but do what you have to do to make yourself calm down. Like I know I had to take an anxiety pill this morning when we got a call from the hospital. Now, um, the Lions, I'm from Detroit. Oh, here's my state shirt, sweatshirt. Um, I'm from Detroit and the Lions play a football game every year on Thanksgiving, and that's been a tradition for how many years, Joel? Long time. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> a long time. A long time. So, the Lions of Game is on in the background, and um, we're just waiting to hear, but it doesn't sound good, and um, and it's breaking my heart. <laughs> 